While the president may have talked a good game tonight, his record shows that he's failed to deliver for the American people. President Biden has failed on the economy and North Carolina families have been paying the price. Faced with sticker shock at the grocery store and at the gas pump, families have responded by making the tough decisions. They've been setting priorities and cutting back in order to live within their budgets. Unfortunately, President Biden and the Democrats have done the complete opposite. They've been reckless and irresponsible. They've wasted trillions on left-wing priorities that have made inflation even worse. We cannot continue the current trajectory. We need to get spending under control, and we need to open up domestic energy production to get energy prices down. President Biden also failed when it comes to one of our government's most basic responsibilities, securing the border. I saw this crisis firsthand just a couple of weeks ago, and it's even worse than you can imagine. Our brave Border Patrol agents are overworked, overwhelmed, and underappreciated by the Biden administration. We need new leadership that must start with a new DHS secretary who will actually enforce our laws and work with Congress to secure the border. I've demonstrated that I'm willing to work with any president on solutions that are good for North Carolina, but I will also oppose any president when the policies they put forth are bad for us. America faces monumental challenges, and we can't afford more bad policies from this administration. I hope President Biden will accept the reality that America is in need of a new direction, and I hope he will work across the aisle in good faith to get our country back on track.